Hello everyone, Avenger Green here with a recap slash review of Void Rivals issue 4. So, when we last left off, Salia had seemingly betrayed Derek on their way back to the Sacred Ring. Android tries to stop Salia, but she's able to outmaneuver it. After all, it's just a hand. And after that, we get a better look at Hook and Sertonia. It seems they got like a triangular slash Egyptian design going for a lot of its architecture and clothing. And we also get an introduction into the leader of Zertonia, Premier Erzalalak. And this guy already feels like an opposing threat. He has a presence that demands immediate respect from all those around him, or else something horrible will happen. And he shows immediate intelligence. I'll just when the sensors detect the Nebulan ship, which is of course neither Zertonian or Argonian tech, even though it's transmitting the proper security codes. Back with our leads, it's Derek comes to and berates Celia for her betrayal, and she reveals that even though she doesn't really consider them friends with everything they've been through in the previous issues, she doesn't consider them enemies either. More like rivals. Eh, hence the title. You know, she then tells Derek to pretend they don't oh, know anything about each other, especially the fact that the two peoples look like each other in order to that basically survived the next 24 hours. And after we get a brief scene in where Darak is, Ark is put in front of a bunch of Zertonians and they, and, and they mock him. Mock him. We get a uh, kind of a random cutaway, even though, oh, we get, this is a bit fun. And, and yeah, this is basically leaning more toward the bigger Energon universe, where Skuxoid from the previous issues goes to Cybertron and tries to sell his Quintesson prisoner to Shockwave, who is stationed on the seemingly abandoned planet. So, yeah, if the designs in the previews and covers were an indicator enough, the Transformers side of, of things in the Energon universe is being heavily influenced by the original 80s cartoon and toy line. And this is a nice little reminder of about this larger universe and setting up of the state of Cybertron, it does kind of feel like it was thrown into the middle of the book for no rhyme and reason aside from, hey, look at this. Back with the titular rivals, well, things go south almost immediately. Dark is sent to a holding cell until they can figure out what to do with him, and when Celia tries playing off not having seen Derek's face, the Primere sees through it but almost immediately, and she gets thrown in the same cell as Darak. Dark. And as you can see, Darak has a pretty good laugh about that. And Celia betrayed aid them, and now to save her own skin, but she ended up getting arrested as well. well the issue wraps up with Zalalak like opening communication with Darak's father, other Dulan, who is as cold as ever, Ever, but he does seem to have some regret at when he tells the Sertonians to do what they will with Dirac based on his body language in the last panel. And this also seems to confirm Celia's theory that the war between their people and the secret of them basically being the same species is being kept up by those, those in higher power. And yeah, the two leads of their different societies are definitely the, the major higher power. So that's Void Rivals issue 4. It's definitely a lot slower. Our issue setting up up the last two issues of this first arc. Arc, which might turn some people off, but off, but I think there's enough intrigue to keep you interested. It, there's a great sense of intrigue and menace about Premier Zalak, and I'm curious to figure out why the masquerade about the sacred ring in and the peoples there even exist in the first place. And if you like this video, Please be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you always know when I upload a new video. Until then, have a great day.